Hey, thanks for joining us here on Polk Place. I'm Brian Lacey, and uh, if we are talking Polk County Historical and Genealogical Library, that means the one, the only, Shannon Graham is in the building, Hi, in the chair. Welcome to the show. I am, thank you. I'm happy to be here. Yeah, I am too. That's good. I am legally <laughs> obligated. Well, not yes, legally you are. obligated. But, yeah. <laughs> you are contractually obligated. Contractually <laughs> obligated. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> yes, contractually obligated mm -hmm. to be here, and yes. and I am happy myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, how are things going over there? We we having I fun? Did. Yes. Yeah. It's busy. I, I heard from a I heard from a, a source. Really? Air quote source. Yeah. That, uh, there's mm -hmm. a lot of construction going on over there. Yes, we've yeah. got a lot. Does yeah. that affect you or? Yeah. So, um, obviously, being a library, we are have a tendency to be quieter. Yeah. Um, and so. With the new construction coming up, we're going to be closing our doors, but that doesn't mean we're closed. Yeah. You'll just have to come up through the elevator, um, but we'll be open to the public still. So yeah. as like the, uh, within the library, mm -hmm. do you ever get to look at people, especially if they're construction workers and go, Uh, sometimes. <laughs> yeah. I feel, you know, I'm contractually <laughs> obligated to do that. Yeah, see, uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> no, but Elmer most Fudd. of the time they're respectful. So. El Elmer Fudd said it best when he said, where we is. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> oh, yeah, so uh, tell me what you got going on. Yeah, so we've got a bunch of stuff going on. Um, for the next couple of months, the speaker series has been booked out, mm -hmm. um, which is exciting. And we've had a lot of participation the past couple of months. Woo! I, hey, listen, I pay attention to things that go on. <laughs> And I see things that go out because, well, mm -hmm. I work in the communications department. Yes. And I have two words for you. Okay. Ellis Island. Yes. Is that a lead in or what? Yes, that was good, that was good. <laughs> yes, so on April 27th, uh, we have Tamara Halo. She's coming, she's a return um, from, I think the past couple of years. And she's gonna be talking about Ellis Island um, and kind of what the process would look like for, ancestors, for your ancestors to go through Ellis Island. Um, what kind of documentation exists for them so that when you're doing your own genealogy, genealogy research, um, you can kind of follow that paper trail and see, okay, where did they come from? Who were they with? Um, what ship were they on? That kind of thing. So really interesting. And from one, one, one of the things I heard, this is a return gig for her? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so she's been here um, before. She came, I think, in 2022. Um, so we're really excited to have her back. She's great. And we've had really good reception. So I'm excited to have her. So as far as this one goes, uh, how are we doing this one? Is this in person? Is this... So uh, it's hybrid. Mm -hmm. Okay, so yeah. how, how do folks sign up for it? How late can they sign up for it? Yeah. What goes in all the details. Yeah, so um, it is hybrid, so it'll be in person at the Polk County History Center and on Zoom. So all people have to do is email me, which my email is uh, shannongram at polk-county.net, um, or call the History Center. Uh, my number is 863-534-4604. So they just get in contact with me, uh, you know, say, hey, can you send me the Zoom link and the handout? And I'll be happy to send that to them. Um, and they can email me up until, you know, 10 a.m. of the event time. and be happy to send that out to them. So. And the beautiful thing about that, when mm -hmm. people ask you how much it is, you tell them you're going to make them an offer they can't refuse. How yes. expensive is that? It is all of zero dollars. <laughs> so it's free, <laughs> um, which is amazing because a lot of people, you know, especially beginner genealogists, want to get involved but don't know how. And so that's a really good way that we can kind of start that journey for them mm -hmm. um, is have that speaker series. So. so as long as we're on the speaker series to what I yes. understand, you know, word on the street is yeah. you've got a couple others signed up too. Yes, so we have kind of um, a full stack for the next couple of months. So in May, on May 25th at 10 a.m., um, we're having Dr. Abbott and she's gonna come and talk about the importance of oral histories. Um, and oral histories play a huge role in genealogy. Um, a lot of people, that's how they start. You know, your grandma has told you this crazy story um, and you wanna verify that, get the details of that, and so that's how you start. Um, and so she's gonna be talking about how do you take those oral histories um, and turn them into you know, concrete facts? Where do you find that evidence? Um, so she's gonna be here and that'll be really great again on May 25th. Um, and then June 29th, we have got um, a lady named Sarah Spencer, Dr. Sarah Spencer, um, and she's coming to talk about German ancestry, um, which is more specific, but we do have a lot of interest in German ancestry. Um, and so that'll be kind of, a great addition to the Ellis Island, and um, mm -hmm. those things are gonna complement one another. 
Um, and then in July, July 29th, um, this is going to be really exciting. So Sherry Hudson's coming, and she's actually going to be talking about how to get in contact with your relatives that you found on Ancestry.com, which is really interesting, like living relatives and, you know, how do you reach out to them? How do you broach that topic? Um, and how do you share information between, you know, your relatives? So that's going to be really exciting to see how that goes. We have a lot of people who are interested in, you know, how do I even talk to relatives who I've never met before, but, you know, I've connected us on Ancestry. So yeah, we've got a lot of cool stuff coming up um, the next couple of months. So yeah, it'll be interesting to see what the public brings, um, what kind of communications that'll that'll be born from that. So <laughs> well, let's talk about some of the resources available to, to folks that uh, really might get interested in, mm -hmm. in finding about, about their history mm -hmm. and uh, their family's history or just history of the county. Yeah, so we've got a lot of stuff um, not surprising, but we do have a lot of books um, that are both individual histories of families that people have kind of compiled and then they've been kind enough to donate them to us so that other people can come along and look. So we've got hundreds of those individual books um, also in our flat files on the third floor. Um, we have different states, um, so that's really important, you know, with all the development we're having, we have a lot of people that are not from Polk County. Um, so they can still find things that are applicable to them. So we have a lot of out-of-state books. Um, and then of course we have a lot of Polk specific resources. So city directories, um, deeds, things like that, which are really great in trying to trace, you know, the physical footprint of your family, right? Those seeing the addresses of people that um, you were related to is a really cool thing to connect. Um, and then we also have access to Ancestry.com mm -hmm. um, and newspapers, which is great. So you can look through um, online your ancestors through Ancestry and Family Search. Um, and then myself and Elizabeth are happy to help people who are just starting. Um, you know, it can be very overwhelming starting on Ancestry, so we're happy to help. Um, and then finally, newspapers, like I said, those are a great resource. Um, they tell really interesting stories, obituaries, things like that. So we have a lot of those local papers on microfilm. Um, and we've got microfilm readers and people can look at those as well. And being a new employee, mm -hmm. there's a new uh, exhibition at yes. the History Center. Mm -hmm. And it goes back to some of the history of Polk County. Mm -hmm. And I understand you're getting firsthand information from family members yes, yeah. of people who have served this county. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so a really cool part of my job is I get to talk to people um, and get those histories directly from them. So the Legacies in Polk Government is our uh, exhibit that's opening later this week. Um, it's so exciting. And so I was given the task, which you know was really great, um, of figuring out, okay, where are some interesting newspapers that give the full story, right? Um, I really wanted to ensure that Brenda Taylor and Charles Richardson, they had more than just their political careers that were depicted. They had the full story of how they were with their families and what were like what issues were important to them, both personal and professional. So um, it was really amazing to dive into those things, um, seeing the newspapers and then also talking to people um, and getting both sides of that. So yeah, very exciting. Um, we're going to have QR codes that are going to be more in depth mm -hmm. um, so people can scan those when they come in um, and they'll get the full story. So, yeah, it's exciting. Well, Shannon, as usual, always a pleasure seeing yeah. you. And yeah. uh, as soon as we get an updated list, maybe yeah. not next month, next month after that, we'll have yeah. you back in and uh, have you talk a little bit more about the speaker series and other yes. things going on. All right. Yeah, that'd be great. The Polk County Historical and Genealogical Library is a non-circulatory Polk County Library, meaning visitors can utilize the books on the shelves, but they mm -hmm. cannot be checked out and they cannot leave the building. Now, items in their special collection and or archives can be accessed with the help of staff members. Located on the second floor of the Polk County History Center is one of the largest facilities of its type in the area with more than 40,000 items in the collection. Located at 100 East Main Street in Bartow. The History Center is open 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Tuesday through Saturday. Now, if you need more information about exhibits, events, anything like that, go to polkhistorycenter.org or give them a call 863-534-4604.